Hello everybody and welcome back to The Average. Today we're going to be taking a character and a building from one of my comics and creating it in The Sims. I decided for this one I'm going to be using Emily is Burning as it is my first comic and uh, Wishing on the Star and the Slow Disappearance of Olivia Newbury could be next if you guys enjoy this video. Just to let you know that if you subscribe to my Patreon you will get one of these two comics for free so check that out if you're interested i have nine more slots available for that join up if you want to it also comes with a print and a sticker emily is burning we're going to be doing this today on the sims so let's dive into it first of all i wanted to recreate my character emily she appears as this kind of style where basically all the characters are all appearing white with pencil line and then just pink on her cheeks. I thought it would be fun to make an all like white, well I guess grey scale character. I mean very limited in what I can do in The Sims but I think we get pretty close to her character. I realised now that she has short hair but I did a hairstyle which I think really matched where it's kind of swooped, swooped? sweeping to the side and I thought that would really work and it really looks cool with the grey so I kept that grey and then I was trying to think could I make her cheeks really really pink so I'm looking here and trying to find something that would work and then I wanted to round out her face a little bit and try to emulate that like character design here even though it's more stylized than The Sims, obviously, because she's got super round face that you probably wouldn't really see in real life. Um, that here and here, like, she, she kind of fits it quite well with The Sims character because I rounded out her jaw and then I was trying to mess with her eyes to make them really big because I realized I drew her eyes massive. So I was trying to mess with all the features. The eyebrows I couldn't quite get down, but I think they are quite close to how she looks. Then just trying to mess with the cheek colour, like I said. Trying to make her more, have more rosacea, I guess. Because in the, the comic, her cheeks are burning because she's embarrassed or she's anxious. So I like that part about the character and I think it's very important. It's kind of like part of her whole vibe. So it was important to try and get these cheeks looking right. Then I was trying to like get the clothing right as well try and just do like a really white clothing so it looks like that paper as well um but the jumper was a little bit orangey but whatever we're gonna have to deal with that i think yeah so that's the perfect sim i think it looks like the character and i think it works out so we're gonna go ahead and go into the build mode picked a random plot that was quite cheap and I realised that I was going to have to turn on cheats for this. So I started out by just using this like thin hexagonal shape. And then I realised that it would be too small. So I tried to go in bigger and I was just figuring out how this would work. How the roof would curve and how I could make this. And I realised none of that was working so I had to start again. Started out again with like this hexagonal shape. And I thought okay I'll keep it thin because that's what... A lighthouse looks like right I need to keep it kind of like this shape even though I mean it would have been nicer to have like a round shape I don't think that exists in the sims let me know if it does because that would uh, help me out because there's a few mistakes that I make with this building and I haven't played the sims properly in like a long time so it was a little bit like why can't I understand what I'm doing here so I wanted to make that little area at the top of the lighthouse here where she can stand and look out into the ocean you can see the building here is like surrounded by ocean and then it's kind of on a cliff edge so i wanted to copy it exactly how i've drawn it so as i was doing this i was thinking did i draw it like too simplistically even though that's the style but as i go in it's quite fun to try and figure out what will work and how it will work so at the moment I realised that I might need to make this bit a little bit taller to fit the windows in and I wanted to copy that style of the window where it goes all the way around the outside of it. Like this, you can see that she can go through and stand out on the edge and I think that looks quite nice even though it has like these panels here I couldn't find a window that really matched it so it made more sense to just put glass window the whole way around 
Now trying again with the roof, I really wanted to make it round and then have the sort of just metal texture. I added a red stripe and I think this is looking pretty light touchish. It's not looking exactly the same as my lighthouse, but I had to work with what I had. So it is looking very Sims-ish. <laughs> I added a door and then I realised I should make the balcony a little bit wider so she can actually come out onto it. I think in the end I have to expand that room as well at the top. So I'm just going in and trying to copy the flooring and also copy the, the paint. I also decided that I needed a lot of money so I totally cheated to get the mother load. Yeah, so I extend these out and then I extend the whole room because I realise if I want to put a bed in there and stuff, which she has here, I need to like expand it a little bit. Even though it looks a bit strange because I guess it doesn't look so much like a lighthouse anymore. Um, I needed to do that if I wanted to do the interior, so I had to follow it down through the whole of the lighthouse here, which you can see me struggling with, and I somehow delete the floor and because I delete the floor, I could never figure out how to put it back in to add a door in. So the end result doesn't have a door on the front of the, of the tower of the lighthouse, which should have been here. <laughs> which I'm like, how did I manage that? If anybody knows what I did wrong, please let me know because it's frustrated me to no end. So I tried to add a bed that was quite similar to the bed that she's has finally made up in the end which kind of looks like this one, which is just like a white normal bed. Um, yeah, sorry, a few spoilers in this comic if you guys hadn't noticed, but I won't spoil the end. But I'm just trying to emulate the whole feel. So she's just moved into this lighthouse, which is being refurbished for someone to live in it. So we have in here, we have the lighthouse. So basically my idea was that you have the lighthouse here and then you have the kitchen going off this way and then a bedroom or a room that way. So I tried to show that it, it's kind of supposed to be contained in that little one area but I realised as I was building the Sims um, bit that it needed to be just extended backwards a bit. So. In my canon, I'm going to say there's like a little room behind that we can't see, even though on this side you can only see one room, but we needed to add it in. And um, I think in my head when I was drawing it, I could see the living room and the kitchen all in that little area of that building but I needed to add a little bit more space to make it a bit more realistic. And in my head, I kind of see it that way anyway, so it made sense. I was trying to copy where the windows were. So there's a little window here and a little window here, and I realized that I needed to add more light in here. So what I did was go in and try to find some lights that would match a lighthouse. At the moment, I got distracted and I wanted to do the landscaping around the lighthouse because I wanted to have like the ocean and the trees in the beginning. Um, so I tried to do that even though it looks a bit weird with the plot on the outside <laughs> because obviously you have a plot of land in The Sims and that's your restraint. I think if I can go out and edit the neighbourhood it would be fun to make it just like a bit more of an ocean. But if you guys can imagine it within the realms of this plot then I think it makes more sense. But I went in and I just tried to make it look like a bit of a cliff face. So editing like backwards, trying to cut in with the um, the ocean, shall we say, that looks more like a little lake. <laughs> and adding lots of trees here because in the in the entrance when she arrives, the car stops here and there's woods. So they travel through the woods to get to this lighthouse, which is on the edge of a cliff. So it's very isolated and. Yeah, just by itself, so I thought it makes sense to try and add a bit of that foliage. In this comic, there is definitely a little mirror that I've highlighted, so I wanted to add that, which actually they had a really good sort of similar mirror that was in The Sims. And you can see now the main problem with this build, which is that the staircase did not fit. And also, they didn't have any round staircases that go up like the one in the comic. 
which would have been perfect so I had to just add a ladder which was very disappointing because I was looking forward to doing the stairs I don't know why in my head I remembered there being stairs that were round and go up let me know if I'm mistaken and if there are round stairs maybe it's in an expansion pack or something because I seem to remember there being round stairs but anyway I had to just go with the ladder I'm afraid but you kind of get the vibe and look and feel of what it's going to be then I move on to the living room and you can see in the living room there is a TV a set of boxes and here's a, like the main image of the living room so in my head it's kind of like what it looks like here where she's sort of not unpacked so I'm laying out the living room how I think it would look roughly and I think it kind of looks quite cool it makes sense and uh, I can see Emily living here in this sim version <laughs> And then I thought what I wanted to do was add some boxes. I was also looking for the kitchen. What I could do with the kitchen because in her kitchen it is pink. But when I found this wallpaper I was like that makes sense to me. Like even though it's darker than what it is in the comic. I think it looks more spooky and it makes sense to me that it would be a bit darker and dated like it's looking here. So I'm just going through and adding like appliances and all this layout of the kitchen which is like exactly how you see it here in my head that's how it is even though you probably don't even see that in the comic that's how it was in my mind when I was drawing it so I'm adding like lots of boxes around as well because she's just moved in basically or she's very slow to unpack I'm not sure one or the other because it's not really said how much time has passed in the comic as it goes I'm thinking it's it goes over the span of like a couple of weeks maybe maybe a bit more maybe less but I think it's not really important the times of the comic but yeah I'm trying to add like this washing machine that's here in the comic and then the bucket trying to get the details that are like here in this thing but they didn't have a washing machine so I had to add like a dishwasher and just pretend in my head in my head canon of the Sims remake of Emily is Burning that it was um, a washing machine and then I found this bucket that is in the sims as well which looked quite good so I was like okay I'll add that and I couldn't add a little phone I couldn't I don't think they have phones anymore in the sims because they use the mobile so I added like a yellowy laptop instead so imagine that whoever's calling her is calling her on the laptop so this is kind of the final look it looks a bit silly <laughs> it looks a bit ridiculous but I had a lot of fun making it and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what it could look like um, Emily is burning in the sims and also I was thinking it would be quite cool you know if you ever made a comic yourself to draw out the building and make it in the sims because then you could go in and look at it and maybe find an angle and redraw it from that angle a bit like google sketchup when you're trying to emulate a background to do so it would have been quite handy I don't know if I would ever do that because I think in my head I like to draw stuff from my mind of how I think it would be but I think if I had done this in The Sims, I would have realised that there should have been a back room and maybe there should have been more space in certain areas. Like, it makes you think about it a little bit more. I don't know. It was very interesting. What did you guys think? And let me know if you want to see me do some other buildings from Wishing on a Star and uh, the slow disappearance of Olivia Newbury. That could be kind of cool to do, like, the the mansion in this in this one and do the characters or wishing on a star to do like her 90s home i don't know let me know and uh thanks for watching guys and please like and subscribe and i will see you next time bye also thank you to my patrons you guys are the best and uh you're awesome see ya